Diarrhea is one of the major health problems of the developing world, so what can be done to stop it? Very often the diarrhea problem originates in surface water, so the surface water is in some way contaminated with bacteria, with viruses, with parasites. Individuals come into contact with that surface water, for instance through drinking it or putting it on their hands and then touching their face with their hands, and as a result of that contamination the individuals may end up with diarrhea. And diarrhea really is a major health problem. There was one 1990 estimate that found diarrhea was responsible for at least 8% of the lost life years in developing countries. A later estimate suggested that diarrhea was responsible for about a fifth of all of the deaths of children under the age of five. The good news is that many cost-effective treatments are available. One of the simplest is simply washing one's hands, and better yet, washing one's hands with soap after going to the bathroom. There are carefully con conducted, randomized, controlled trial studies which show that groups of individuals who have learned to wash their hands end up with much lower rates of diarrhea than groups of individuals who have not learned to wash their hands. Of course, this is a behavioral remedy, and behavioral remedies, if you can persuade individuals to adopt them, are typically quite cheap. What also works and is cost-effective is disinfecting the water, or what is sometimes called point-of-use water treatment. So if you start off with water that looks a bit like this, and you use some kind of process of filtering the water, or boiling the water, or disinfecting the water, and it ends up looking a bit more like this, well, you're much less likely to get diarrhea, and that also has been shown using the method of randomized control trials. The technology works, and it's fairly inexpensive, but again, the problem comes in simply getting people to use it and to want to use it. It's an issue of trying to change the decentralized norms for individual and family cleanliness. What also works is oral rehydration, or simply drinking a lot of water if and when you have diarrhea. This very much works and lowers the chance of fatalities. It's simply a matter of whether or not people know to do it. Digging wells or bringing in piped water do not necessarily solve the problem of diarrhea. First is the issue of cost-effectiveness. These practices cost much more than some of the interventions discussed earlier in this video. They may be worth doing for other reasons, but if you're simply thinking about them as tools to combat diarrhea, they really do cost much, much more. A second problem, especially in rural areas, is that water supply infrastructure is very often not very well maintained. So maybe a new water system will go in in year one, but by the time year three or year five rolls around, that water system isn't necessarily working very well, and thus the public health gains are quite temporary. This is a common and important theme in the history of water systems. The bottom line is this. When it comes to fighting diarrhea, there are many cost-effective interventions available to us. It's largely a question of education and decentralized norms. To read more on this topic, I recommend the two studies listed here, both of which are available online.